guys. For some reason, my last video just randomly stopped. So we are waiting for this to plug out. So that's plenty enough, just that little drop. And I'm just going to kind of spread it all over gently. And then take your thumb and just start working it in. Get a little water on it. And these are white bristles, so you're really going to see the difference more in these than you are in any of the other ones. So now we're just going to take that and go like this and kind of rub it along the bottom again. And that's starting to come out. Okay, and now we're going to go and you can just rub your fingers around. Just try to get a lot of it out a lot of the dirt out of your curry okay and then for these oh goodness I didn't mean to do that I just kind of I go like this and scrub it just in the water really good and as you can see it squirts water okay so now we're gonna do this I'm gonna put on some lukewarm water again you don't use like really 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 hot water because that can damage some brushes and if you have leather tops I'll demonstrate using another brush how you would do that go about that so rinse them off really good if you have one like this as a hole in it clean it out with clean water like let it suck up clean water and squirt it out as you can see it's still squirting water okay so and then you're just gonna set them or at least this time, you're just gonna pat it, side pat it like that, and keep on bristle down. Okay, so next is our curry comb. Rinse that out really well. And then we're gonna move on to our next step. Or actually, I'm gonna rinse out this one. I saved curry comb for last. So take your, this kind, and you really wanna make sure you rinse these out really, really, really good. I can sometimes scrub them on the ground just to make sure make sure you get absolutely everything. Like run your fingers along the bristles, that way the water can get down to all the areas. And then tap that like on the side and go like this. So that's gonna get a lot of your water out. And then tap it like that or rub it along there, like pretend your towel is a horse and rub it on there. But I'm just gonna set, I set my, after you get most of the water out, you can set them, I set them over here to dry, just so I can, so it doesn't make my towel completely soaked and I can use it for everything else too. So, um, now we have our curry comb, and this is what you need your Q-tips for. You can mainly dr try to dry it as best as you can, like with just the towel. You're gonna dry the back side. So, and then you're gonna go like that. And then you're gonna take your Q-tips and go around the edges. Cause that, if there's any dirt left, that'll come out and it'll help dry it off in there. So it dries a little faster. Yeah, you can see, I don't know if you can see, Q-tips kind of dirty. You can see that one a little better, but that helps get a lot of your stuff dried off. And then you can just set it to dry, bristle down like everything else. So we're gonna treat. I'll do this. We're gonna treat this brush. It's a fake wood, by the way, as if that were leather. So, um, I'm gonna quickly. Or I, I forgot my hook pick, so I'll do that quick. So I have my hook pick in here. And this is another thing that, like, if your horse has thrush or if a horse has thrush and they've used your hoof pick, that's a good thing. I'm going to rinse out my tub really quick with some hot water. Get all the soap to go down. Okay, so we're just going to rinse this off really good. So now what I do is, since this is already damp, 
just get a damp area, and I'm gonna use not the little pad daily, but I'm just gonna put a little glob of soap.